This is Mike. Mike is the CEO of a major company. Mike is a handsome, gifted young man. A real talent when it comes to analyzing businesses, managing his staff and spotting market opportunities. At least, that is what Mike says. According to his employees, Mike is a piece of f***ing shit. The only thing that Mike cares about is Mike and the long legs of his secretary, which is probably the reason why he hired her in the first place. Mike is a very incompetent leader. Only 23% of the politicians on this planet and only 3% of the CEOs of the 500 biggest companies on this planet are female. And that's a major, major issue. Not because there's too many men, but because most of them are just bloody incompetent. And that is why today I'm going to explain why incompetent men become leaders. Welcome to Brains Applied. You might have heard people say, I like that politician because he tells it the way it is. And that's all great for them, but the issue with politicians who tell it the way it is, is that they are on average not very good leaders. Because if you don't live in North Korea, Russia, China, Venezuela, Saudi Arabia or any of the countries on this list, you are living in a democracy. And this means that the politician that you like has to work together with other politicians. And this is something that people who tell it the way it is are on average not very good at because they are alpha males. You might have heard of alpha males. There is a shitload of videos on YouTube on how to become an alpha male. And alpha males are everything. They are socially dominant and attractive and extroverted and confident. But confidence is not equal to competence and this is a slight mistake that we sometimes make. Confidence, ladies and gentlemen, is an appearance. And appearances are like bus timetables, often highly misleading. We tend to confuse our feeling of confidence with the fact that we are in fact competent. And this is why dumb people think that they are amazing. And we do this for ourselves, but we also do this for other people. And to make it worse, these alpha male characteristics are also characteristics that we often see in narcissists. Narcissists are on average quite extroverted and quite confident. So narcissistic people are very likely to become leaders, personalized charismatic leaders. This type of leader is the type that only wants to satisfy his or her emotions. They don't care about your emotions that much, they won't admit their mistakes that fast and they are more prone to make destructive decisions. What we should want are socialized charismatic leaders. The kind of leaders that care about you, that have empathy and that care about your feelings. And of course you don't want a really soft person as a leader. According to research, the ideal leader is somewhere in between. Social and caring about his staff, but also looking for good results and managing his company strictly. Let's look at a good example of a leader, Angela Merkel. Love her or hate her, but she has been elected for 15 years straight as the Chancellor of the German Parliament. If the German Parliament elects you as their leader for 15 years, you are not doing a bad job. And is she a great speaker? Is she confident? Is she entertaining to listen to? Honestly, her speeches are as much fun as the average funeral. 
compare this to another great German leader, a certain guy named Adolf Hitler. I'm pretty sure that in the 30s of the past century, there were some German guys who thought, I like that guy, he tells it the way it is. You have to admit that Hitler was pretty confident and he was a pretty good speaker. But boy did they make a tiny mistake by following him. Hitler was one of these narcissistic leaders. He did not care about anyone at all except for himself and the glorious Third Reich that he was building. Narcissists are most often men and men in general are just more extroverted and more confident than women and this is why they become leaders so much more often even though they're not that competent. So the next question is of course why are men much more extroverted and much more confident? There are two prominent theories to explain this. The social role theory and the expectation states theory. These theories are very similar and yet different. The social role theory states that men and women behave in a certain way because they expect themselves to behave in that way and because others expect it. Women are not expected to be very alpha-like, so they are in general a bit quieter and a bit softer. Men are more often expected to be good and hard and strong leaders, so they will behave in that way. The expectation states theory builds upon the previous theory, but it also says that status differences between people in the same group or the same society come from whether people are capable and whether they are perceived to be capable. And perceived capability comes from traits such as ethnicity and gender and confidence. So men and women are given different roles in our society due to their gender. In particular, our work environment, our family environment and our school environment shape our character but also define the roles that we are given, based on our gender. This happens because men and women are assumed to possess qualities that make them better for the roles that they typically have. And from an historical standpoint, this does make sense. For example, men were the warriors because they were taller and physically stronger. And the bravest, most confident and strongest person became the leader. But the question remains how we can actually stop this process that we have used for ages and centuries. This process of using stereotypes to assign roles to people. Maybe, just maybe we should stop doing semi-structured job interviews because more confident people will always be seen as better. And we should just ask applicants for references so we can talk to the people that they have worked with before and we can ask their experiences. And we should do personality tests so we don't end up with a fucking narcissist. And we should let applicants solve issues so that we can be sure that they have good skills and we can actually base our opinion on an accurate measure instead of confidence. And that my friends is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press the like button and of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.